Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome back to another episode of my Arsenal Let's Play in Football Manager 2014. I just want to give a quick question out there. If you want to see more of this uh, save or more of this series, just drop in the comments. I just want to see really just not a vote, just see. I want to see if people still want to see this because I haven't really uploaded heaps. I've been doing a lot of my lower league management. I'm enjoying playing that even though it can be frustrating at times. I still think it's enjoyable. Uh, as it's probably more of a challenge than being Arsenal, but I do want to win the Premier League definitely this season. But if you do want to see, if you prefer to see, yeah, that's basically the thing. If you prefer to see Arsenal, just drop a comment. Or if you prefer to see Low League Management, drop a comment. Or you don't really care uh, which one, just any Football Manager series, uh, drop a comment as well. But yeah, for the most part, I want to know if you want to see this or not. Uh, as we have a couple important games here, we've got Hull City away from home, then Manchester United. So. Uh, some big games here uh, to really just keep our dominance going in the league. It's still, we've got nine games left. Uh, we're 10 points away from Tottenham, Manchester United. Yeah, they're probably not going to be in the race. We should be still winning it. We shouldn't drop it from here. It will be a disaster if we do. Uh, but also, we've got Champions League quarterfinals. So that's going to be, got to get hype for that. It's going to be big. Uh, so we could advance. I want to go for the Champions League. And because we are this far ahead... I want to win, at least when the Champions League, when it's time to play those games, I want to focus, make sure my team is fit and everything like that. But yeah, I've a lot of more plans for Arsenal. I want to make them into a dominant team, especially if we can win the league this season and push on and do that. But unfortunately, right now, we've got two big Germans for us that's injured uh, Podolski and Mesut Ozil. Unfortunately, we'll bring, yeah, we'll bring a goalkeeper onto the bench, Dijan Stjanovic, uh, because I feel we should have a goalkeeper on the bench. Because uh, I've recently got knocks to my goalkeepers in more than one game. So, yeah, I want to be careful there. Uh, Lauren Koscielny, I'm not sure why I'm bringing him on. But I need to make some changes here. Uh, Mesut Ozil's injured. So, he's going to be making his way out of the starting 11. And uh, Maximilian Arnold. I reckon I might start him above Ramsey there. Actually, bring him there. Oxide chamberlain he's, a in he's been interesting for me. Like... He hasn't been amazing, and he used to be amazing for me, like other football manager saves I've played with Arsenal in previous years. So, yeah, it's a hard one for me to deal with. Uh, I would never, ideally, in my head, like when I'm thinking about starting an Arsenal save, I would never think about selling him, but his performances have really uh, given me different ideas to maybe do that. But, yeah, we just got to see uh, what will be the situation in that way. But I think this is the best lineup. Uh, well, not the best, like... Uh, what we have to, what we have to deal with right now, We've got Urzil, Podolski, Vermalen, and Kazola unavailable to play. So yeah, there's not much more I can do, can I? We don't much. Oh, yeah, we have no like strikers on the bench or anything. Uh, we're lacking. Yeah, we're we're missing out on a lot of attacking players. So that's a disappointment. But again, uh, we're going on the attack against Hull. We've got to look to attack them. They're doing pretty good. Uh, they're eleventh, a team that could be. Not expected, but they got to be sure that they play well so they don't get relegated. They could be one of those teams. That's what I basically mean. One of those teams that could potentially get relegated. So they're doing well. Uh, but right now, we're going to go into the game and hopefully... And leave this. Leave your thought on this. You know how Sanya, he's going to be leaving to Manchester City. Uh, in real life, he's agreed uh, on a free transfer because, of course, he ran out of his contract... And also, yeah, Vermaelen. Should I look to sell those players? That's what I basically mean. Should I look to sell Vermaelen and Sanya? That's basically what I'm talking about. But Vermaelen hasn't been bad for me, but at the same time, well, this season in the league, he's got amazing rating, like average rating, 7.38. That's pretty strong. So ideally, I wouldn't want to sell Vermaelen, but don't forget, he's getting older as well, going to push to 30. So leave your thoughts on that. Should I be realistic in that way and let them go and maybe find replacements? But yeah, leave your thoughts especially Arsenal fans. It'll be interesting to see what you think. But anyway, uh, for now, uh, we're going to be playing Murdersaka and Doria. And you say be realistic, but uh, Doria, he might not... He's probably not going to go to Arsenal in real life. So that's that's what I mean. We have Doria as well. So it's like... I don't think you have to be realistic as much as long as in the game uh, they're realistic to join your club. Like, they're not unrealistic transfer. Because if they're unrealistic, they don't want to join you. So... Anyway, got the opposition instructions done by my assistant, and we'll be looking to just have a decent team talk there. It wasn't that amazing, but... And of course, yeah, compared to my lower league management, this one I have highlights in 3D, 
you can see here, uh, camera director, when you score, and offsides, I put goal action there. So you can see if they're offside calls, you can see the replay. But anyway, we'll see what we can do here. Hopefully get an early goal uh, to really ensure our dominance. Just get in front, then you don't really have to worry about scoring. But we'll see how it goes. Arnold uh, to Gibbs. And especially, like, if I'm going to be doing more than one game in an episode, which people want... I can't be doing it in 3D, or it'll take forever to upload if I'm going to do two or three games in an episode. It will take ages. So hopefully you like 2D, and then a little bit of 3D when I score, and Oxley chamberlain again uh, missed the shot there, couldn't get on target, but it was deflected. So it's a corner, and Dora's header just goes over the bar on that occasion. Very, very close, but also it's a good start, having a couple chances. Uh, Wilshire injured someone as well, so that's good. But we haven't had some chance. Oh, we missed out. We started well. We've started well, but we haven't had many chances. There's going to be a chance here, hopefully, for us. Jakob. Play it through. Oh, good for Walker. Oh, that was close. Almost a great chance. Go, Walker. Arnold. Diego Costa finds Walker in space. Oh, he should have finished that. He was in space, but corner kick for Walker here. It's Yeah, it's been a good start. We've had chances. Unfortunately, we haven't really taken the chances. Which is disappointing. Had we have multiple corners as well. Probably won't score from this. Or we could. Come on. Uh, we're not taking our chances. Tackle him. No. Ooh. Lucky. Oh, it's a free kick to us, but well defended, I guess, in the end. It was offside. Uh, Nikita Jalovic. And yeah, it's really, I guess it's showing we're missing our attacking players, really quality attacking players. And we couldn't finish those chances. Huddleston's going to go. Oh, no way. I knew, yeah, something was going to come with because Huddleston, he's got good long shots. I guess we'll see the replay here. Robbie Brady scored his third goal in the season in injury time, of course. He'll score then, but uh, you can see Huddleston, he took the strike. It was a good strike from there, uh, rebounding. Off the bar, and then Brady was there for the simple tap-in goal. Of course, you can see that at this time in injury time. But anyway, we've got to push on. We're playing on attacking. We've had chances. To concede a sucker punch goal there is very disappointing. Just hitting us on the break. I would say we need to do better, but... I'm actually happy about how we've played in this first half. And Oxay chamberlain again. Oh, I don't know. I'm not happy about him right now. He should be finishing that. I know he won a corner, but still. Need to be finishing these chances. Or we're going to have to bring someone world-class in. But we do. We have those world-class players, but they're injured. Like, I know it's your decision if you think Podolski is world-class or uh, Cthulhu. But, yeah, leave your thoughts. But they're still crucial players for us. Anyway, assertive. Now, actually aggressive, where's your passion? Hopefully, that has to motivate them, surely. We're on attack. Fluid. Come on. Tackle. No way. No way. Wow. They score twice. Well, they're playing at home. Oh, but I'm disappointed to concede. Uh, Yalovich. I don't want to lose now. I don't want to be losing games now. We're, we're looking like winning the title. Come on, Oxley Chamberlain. Again, you're crap. No, nah, he's sold. I don't care. I'm going to sell him at the end of the season. He's shit. Yalovich. See, that goal almost... Just the error pass there where we could have had a chance. Now, nah, he's gone. Unless... Yeah, I don't know. Unless he does something fantastic. But he's probably going to get minimal chances. But if other players are injured, he's going to have to play. But as we get a transfer budget next season, I'll probably look to sign a world-class left winger. Maybe Sal Podolsky as well. He's getting older. But yeah, Aaron Ramsey will come on. I don't even know for who. Let's take off Arnold. He's played even worse, judging his average rating. Bring Wilshire in attacking position. Uh, Toljan to come on for Gibbs. Just attacking fullback. Then Serge Nabry. I don't even know. Now, actually, I'm going to take Diego Costa off and then put Walcott striker. Maybe I need just some pace up front or something. We'll see how it goes. 
But please, this is as attacking I can go in my good tactic. I, I've actually won a game 9-1 with this tactic. I think it was with Borussia Dortmund, actually. But still. Come on. Need to do much better. Finish this chance, please. Oh my god, come on. Wilshire, put it in. Do something. Walcott. Oxo Chamberlain again waste a chance. What happened? I got a corner? <laughs> okay, that was weird. I was thought nothing was gonna come from that, but anyway. Yep, there's another goal. This <laughs> oh, oh, this has been in, this has just been bad. We haven't taken our chances and we've defended crap. Look Shane Long, you know he's a danger in the air, but this has just been a poor match defensively away from home. People say don't go as attacking, but we had chances to win. We had chances to win. And we should be going attacking against a team like Hull City. Oxo Chamberlain. Fine, look, Nabry can score. <laughs> One of our younger players, come on. We could still, there's a slight chance to get something from this game. Even though it's very unlikely. But look at that, Toljan, that's what I mean. Uh, he played it to Oxo Chamberlain. At least got it. he got an assist, but it was all to Nabry. He had to win the header, and he did. Come on, we need to score here. Toljan, nah, wasted. Danilo, Nabry. Danilo finds Nabry again. This time to Oxo Chamberlain. They exchange this time. They've been working together well, and Oxay chamberlain maybe he's changing... Oh, that's a big goal. Because he puts in my head to think to still keep him and not sell him. Scored an important goal, especially if he does something to help us. Go, come on, highlight. Show a highlight. Come on. Far too late. Not going to score. <laughs> there couldn't be a highlight, could there? Earlier. Yep, there you go. It was just the bad defending. It was the bad defending. Very disappointed. Uh, Oxay chamberlain in the end, he was the player of the match. I'm surprised by that, but... We are just unlucky out there, and somehow... I was scared it was going to get a bad reaction from that, but... Yeah, somehow, Oxay chamberlain at the end, he was the player of the match. That's very interesting. We're still first, so... At least... At least I can focus that. We only lost by a goal at the end of the day, where we played crap. So, yeah, who knows? It was an interesting game, though. Very interesting. A lot of goals... Maybe I was due to lose a game. How long since I've lost? Well, not that long ago. Newcastle, when we got a red card, was hard to win that. Oxide Chamberlain. What are we working in track? Oh, yeah, Barnes. He accepts. He's he's the only player, actually. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the other ones for a second, but in this episode, but I'm not really sure. He has potentially a star. I'm surprised he's not like touted as the next Michael Owen. Basically, any good young English striker says that. Uh, but yeah, maybe he'll be better. <laughs> Who knows? So right now, what is he training on? None. Uh, my assistant or one of my youth coaches will set that up, whatever. I uh, probably need to work on his pace, but yeah, they'll do the best uh, to what's needed for him. But yeah, he's the only one who I've offered a contract out of my youth candidate. Look at those potentials. They're not even... They're only two and a half star, the next best. So yeah, leave your thoughts. Uh, do you... Uh, what is at this level, when you're like a top four team, when do you... Yeah, when do you offer the contracts? Like when do you, what What potential do they need to have? Like this guy, Richard, he's leading... Is that worth it? Is it worth offering them a contract when they have leading potential? Who knows? He's got 20 determination, possibly, but leave your thoughts. What If you say I should, I will, uh, but I'll just leave it for now because we've got a very important game against Manchester United nine days away. I'm going to make sure we train on attacking, attacking movement, and yeah, we're going to be playing at home to them, so yeah, I will go on the attack, try and win it because uh, we're playing at home, and then we've got Tottenham after that in the next episode. That'll be crucial, but yeah, next game is crucial to win as well. And after seeing this uh, youth game here with our Arsenal youth candidates and Arsenal under-18s, uh, you can see our head of youth development, uh, Moraris. And again, 
here you can see loading time for staff. I don't know why that takes a bit longer. But anyway, he's amazing head of youth development. 20 working with youngsters, 20 man managers. You know it all anyway. You know it all already. I've talked about him before. He's one of the better ones. And you can see Richard Watson, Yeah, his performance during the match he talked about. And the guy with the 20 determination. As I said, I just offered him a contract now because he played an amazing game. He scored a goal. Uh, with six finishing and six composure. So, yeah, he looks like he's going to be a good player. He had a good performance, so that's all he could do to impress me, and he did impress me. So, yeah, he's going to get a contract. And, of course, if you didn't know, if you missed other episodes, we're signing Carlos Fierro on a free transfer. That's insane. You know he's a football manager legend of previous years. He just always developed into a good striker. So excited to get him to the club. It will be next season. Another young striker. I'm not sure if he'll play right away, but... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Tijanovic, of course, he probably needs some match fitness, so I'll put him available for under-21s. Because, of course, he's going to be backup. Who knows if he's going to be part of the future because we've got Tushtegen, who's, you know, he's a good keeper. He's he's going to be our main keeper, and he's young as well. That's what I mean. And he's going up in his attributes exactly what I needed. Like, 22, he could play for, like, another 15 seasons or something. It's very interesting to see how long he'll be good enough, but... He could easily be sold. Like, always when I say this guy's going to be like a 10-season player or something, well, 10-season for an outfield player, maybe 15 seasons for a goalkeeper, depending on their age, of course, uh, they always get interest from another team, like against a PSG or something. Like, a PSG gets interested, and I make some profit on them, like a lot of money. So, yeah, that always happens when I say that. Anyway, Watson joins. What's his potential now? Yeah, it's two and a half star still and still leading potential. And with that good determination, he can develop into a Premier League quality player. Um, Plegzu, oh, I'm not gonna. I have no idea how to say. It. If you know how to say this this guy's name, drop in the comments, please. Even though he probably won't be part of the future, but still, he's improving decently. He's having some consistent performance. Well, it's in the school premier, uh, not that high level, but still, he's playing games. Only decent Premier League potential. We'll see how he gets on. And you can see some other Champions League results: Real Madrid winning, Bayern Munich as well. And unfortunately here, you can see Barcelona advance. Well, they advance in extra time as well. So Marseille did their best. So if Marseille can take them all the way, you think we can as well. Hey, look at that. Jordan Ayew even scored in the 120 minutes. But yeah, it was not good enough. Dortmund win. So there's still some big teams going to be hard. But I want to test myself against the best teams as well. So goes both ways. We're going to yeah just go attacking against Manchester United, try and beat them. And we're still nine points ahead of Tottenham. They drew their last game. You think we should have the league uh, sewn up. You would think anyway. You'd probably say just go for the draw against Manchester United. Make sure you don't lose. But I just want to... I'm confident. I want to beat them. I want to show you I can actually beat them. Uh, Jordi Reyna. I know he's a good young player in the game. He's pacey. He's got dribbling. He's got technique. But the highest quality, he's probably not, like top four. Maybe like mid-table, he'll be good. But here's the quarterfinal draw. We're either going to get drawn against Barcelona, Chelsea, Dortmund, Man City, Bayern, Man United, or Real Madrid. They're all good teams. So it's not like I'd prefer against one of them. They're all good. Man United v Dortmund. Barca and Arsenal. Oh, no. We're going to have to face Messi. But like I said, Marseille took them all the way into extra time. Who's this David Gonzalez? Is he good? Looks not too bad. Last time I signed one was Pedro Fernandez for Manchester United. He was a beast. Like, I would love to... I've actually played that save a little bit off camera uh, to try and see how I can develop Pedro Fernandez. But, yeah, that's not really the point. Barcelona, anyone injured? Please. Okay, they've got international games to Santos. But, yeah, no real huge injuries right now. You can see Serge Aurier. You know, he's playing in the World Cup for Ivory Coast. Yeah, he's been good. Yeah, I like him as a player as well. I'll get a scout report on him because he's not really playing consistently. When did he sign? Well, he just signed recently, but still, he's uh, listed as the rotation. If eventually he gets maybe unhappy at Barcelona, we can maybe sign him because I think he's rumored to sign Arsenal in real life. I don't know. Someone told me, or I just read on Twitter or YouTube, I saw something. But anyway, Cazola's uh, left out, but isn't he injured? Yeah, he's coming back from an injury, so I'm not surprised. Or, yes, he has no intention of joining, apparently. So, yeah, huge games. Huge games to come. Like, I say I need to keep winning, but if I'm honest, the other teams around me have dropped heaps of points this season. Uh, 
I shouldn't be under pressure. But, you know, you've got to always get the results. But I wouldn't be surprised. This is what I mean. I wouldn't be surprised if they drop points. That's what I basically mean. And look at that. LaFondra leading the uh, goal scoring for Huddersfield and in the league. Uh, Diego Costa, not too far away. He's had a good season, of course. See, you can see here, anyone dropping points near the top? Uh, no one, really, that's close to us. So, yeah, no one that's going to make an impact. But this is a huge game. They're still favourites to win away from home. And we're first. We've been the best team this season. And surely Rooney must be going down. Or he's still oh, he's still well rated. Well, he's only 29. Look, he can play goalkeeper. <laughs> that's funny. But anyway, yeah, that's a bit weird. You rarely ever see that. Why is Rooney as a goalkeeper? I don't think he's ever played goalkeeper. But anyway... Must be a glitch or something. Uh, Joel Campbell, what does he want? Oh, he wants first team football. This here. I said, oh, why did I say that? I'm not going to play him. <laughs> he's not good enough. His finishing is only 10. Oh, he's a winger, but I guess I have to promote him to the... F I might play him in some league games because I said that now. I'll promote him to the first team and you'll yeah, we'll see how we can get on. We still got 16 million in the budget, so... Like I said, I want to save that probably for next season. If sign like a another big player, I always like to make one big. Oh yes, Man City win. Usually you wouldn't find me saying that because Man City will be a threat. But yeah, this year Tottenham is the threat, so they lose the game there. And if we win that, you think from here we would win the league if we win against Manchester United. Come on, opportunity to really assure this. Come on, let's go tactics, select our team. And anyone, leave your thoughts. Do you select your team from here? I know this one thing, it's very rare. I only did this in the last couple of years. I actually used to select my team from the squad here, like the picks. Um, well, not like that. I would list by position there. Then I would just change positions like remove or take the sub off or something like that. That's the way I used to do it. Leave your thoughts. How do you select your team from that screen or the tactics screen? I used to always just do it from there because I can see, but I would have it on selection info. I would have it on selection info and just see all that stuff there. But yeah, recently, in the last couple of years of Football Manager games, I always do, used to do that way in Football Manager 2008. You know, I always talk about that. But look at this. Oxlade Chamberlain is wanted by Liverpool. Should I try and sell? Because someone's interested. Let's offer to clubs 25 million. Maybe I might drop it a bit lower. Maybe 23 million. Imagine if they could budge for that. That would be insane. But anyway, I think I'm going to have to drop him though. Because, but who do we ask that? Okay, Joel Campbell, we'll play him. What? Try him on the left wing? A uh, big game against Manchester United. You know, he scored against them in real life uh, for Olympiacos in the Champions League. So, who knows? I've got to give him the chance. I said I will, and I, he could be part of the future. Does he have good enough potential? He's three-star potential, still leading potential. Uh, what's he working in training? Dribbling, trying to improve that. I suppose, yeah, you should as a winger. Let's see what he can do. He's been scoring fairly consistently in the reserves. Um, I'm just thinking other positions. I'm um, actually Ramsey to start ahead of Arnold, and then bring Wilshere. When Wilshere's played the advanced playmaker, he can actually score goals. And whenever I played him there, he scored. Well, not every single time, but still, like you know what I mean. Oxay Chamberlain still deserves to be on the bench, I reckon. We'll take off Sebastian Road, not Arnold. Take Arnold off, and then. Simeone as a striker on the bench. We'll take goalkeeper off for now. Very low chance he'll get injured in this game. But yeah, anyway. Murdersaka Doria in defense. I'm going to play Toljan ahead of Gibbs. Toljan's been amazing. Amazing ratings and would be improving, I would imagine, as well. Well, not here, but he has been improving. He's a wonder kid, as you know. It was a great signing. I'm really happy. I like him as a player as well. So you can see here, Rooney as the lone striker. I don't think Rooney as the lone striker is that amazing. Uh, for me, he's better when either playing a midfield position or having another striker with him like Van Persie, but that's not the case, or Welbeck, whoever they have. Or Papadopoulos, that's weird. They're not playing Papad. Oh, he's lacking match fitness. He must be coming back from an injury or something. Or well, you would imagine he would start Papadopoulos because Smalling and Evans. You would think especially Evans... 
above of Padabalobolos, or whatever his name is, <laughs> Padabalobolos, I know how to say his name, but sometimes I just stuff it up, Papadopoulos, there you go, so yeah, it's going to be tough, and their midfield as well, Fellaini, Benega, Darren Fletcher, not the best midfield in the world, we'll see how it goes, come on, we could win this, well at home we should be trying to win it, I think last time they beat us, because it says we have to, we owe them revenge or something like that. It says it when you lose. Come on. We could beat them. And really look to win the title this season. As you know, I've said a lot of times already. Danilo, Diego Costa, come on. He could win the goal scoring as well. The most goals in the league. Uh, he'll be up for that. He's got a chance. So you can see there, well done, Jakob. Good ball for Danilo. Danilo was a good signing as well. I've made in this save. Diego Costa... When it's in the air like that, Diego Costa always going to score. And that's his 24th goal of the season. He's been big this season. I was skeptical a little bit with him. But, yeah, I like him as a player. Goal. Mata. I'm surprised he missed that with that highlight. Be careful now. Ooh, a bit lucky. I'm not sure if we should go back to uh, go on control now. Yeah, control would be much better. We control uh, the possession from here and make sure we hold on to the results. Just maintain the possession. Don't be too risky and that kind of stuff. Go in 1-0 at halftime. I'll be very, very happy with that. It would just be a bit weird. We lost against Hull City, but then if we win against Man United and Doria is taking the free kick there for some reason, I don't know why. And then he runs into a right-back position. Uh, Danilo was covering for him, so that makes sense. But yeah, I'm surprised he took the free kick. I'm not sure I've been for, selected for free kicks. But anyway, Wilshire's on. He scores. It's 2-0. Get in. See, I told you, Jack Wilshire, he can score. When you play him in that attacking midfield role, he can score. Uh, Ramsey got the assist. And Wilshire finished for his third of the season. But most of the time, I play him centre mid. Because other players like Urzu and Sati Kazola. But when they're missing, he steps up and makes it 2-0. Come on, oh, we've got the league. Come on, I'm so excited to win with Arsenal. Come on, we can win this. We can win this league. They're making some changes right now, but I'm really happy with the way things are going right now, especially in this game and for the season as a whole. Still in the Champions League as well. If I could win the Champions League as well, this is probably will be one of my most successful seasons. And this is a thing I'm annoyed about in the comments of this series. People say Arsenal's not a challenge. I never started this as a challenge. This is not a challenge series. This is me being Arsenal because I enjoy being Arsenal in Football Manager because it's kind of like I have a personal tie to them in being in Football Manager because basically I've been Arsenal every year since I played Football Manager. Like the first year I played Football Manager and Championship Manager as well. I just started being with them and I just have that tie to them and that's why I'm being them. Not because it's a challenge, uh, because I just think, I just enjoy being Arsenal and Football Manager. In short, that's what it is. So uh, yeah, Diego Costa will come off here because I want to play Simeone, give him some experience for a young player. Is he improving as well? Well, not at the minute, but you know, he's a good young player. Uh, Chamberlain say no pressure. Nabry, no pressure. So he gets relaxed. It's good for young players. I'll do the same for Simeone as well. See, too relaxed there. Come on. Fellaini picks up a yellow. Surely, last 30 minutes, again, we'll just continue to play well and not concede any goals. Maybe score again. We'll see how it goes. Got to be careful, though. If we concede, it could be a bit nervy the last 25 minutes. Make sure we don't concede. Danilo, well done. And against Rooney there as well. Who's a tough guy to come up against. Oh, cleverly. He's going to assist for Welbeck, but Welbeck can't finish it. Oh, Campbell, go. I've kind of forgot about him. Haven't really noticed him in this game. Well, really, it hasn't really affected us, has it? I guess he's had a good game if he hasn't made a good mistake. Come on, just keep possession. Just run out the time. That's what I want the most. And to not concede. Tackle him. Tackle Welbeck. No, Rooney. Oh, good save. Terstegen. That must have been offside then, but Terstegen made a good save there. 
And he's been a really good signing. Some people question me again, like people like to do in comments, I like to question anything I do, but question me when I sold Chesney because some people said he's the best goalkeeper in the game, which I think, yeah, I don't think that's true, but he is young and he's a good keeper already. So I can see why, but Ter Stegen, I signed him really cheap because he's running out of his contract. Uh, the season I signed him, well, this season was it? At the start of this season, he was running out of his contract. So I got him for a decent fee. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Danilo had a really good game, player of the match, but we look to win here. Fantastic. We're 12 points ahead. Surely we can't lose it from here. I've uh, been playing attacking. Uh, some people question that as well, of course, but we've only conceded 23 goals in the league and we've got the best goal difference quite easily. So we probably deserve to win the league this season. And you see Diego Costa pushing up there to leading the goal scoring tied with Lafondra and Jordan Rhodes or Blackburn. Jordan Rhodes is a good striker as well. I've signed him before. Uh, for some other teams, I played off camera, but yeah, anyway, Danilo, he's been a good signing as well, we signed at the start, you can see here, last season, but anyway, that's it for now, hopefully enjoy this episode, it was a bit weird, wasn't it, like I said, uh, we lost against Hull City, but then we won, it's at home, you probably have more chance to win at home, but it is against Manchester United, big, big win, we probably knock them for sure out of the race there, knock them out to fifth. And yeah, 12 points ahead of Tottenham. We've got a game against them next, so watch out in the next episode. And if you want to see that, as I said, drop in the comments, and I'll see you guys then.